Hi folks, I've taken the charge battery out of this and hooked it directly up. The leads that normally go to the charge battery, I've hooked them straight up to this voltmeter here. And I wanted to show you what about this, I was talking about the spiraling voltage. Well, I let this thing been running and right now I'm up to 223.9 volts, 223 volts. And uh, it's still going up very slowly now. So I might be coming close to pretty much where it might stop. But I had it going up, uh, start from a zero, and it kept on coming up and kept on coming up. So that once someone finds out how to control this spiraling voltage, uh, they may have the key to uh, a lot of things. And that's pretty hard to, hard to get any kind of uh, apparatus, electrical apparatus, to uh, work if the voltage keeps on increasing in it. And I got 12 volts. Now my 12 volts is in a run battery. That's not that's showing what I, what I'm running at. I got a neon light flickering in my power supply quite a bit. It's protecting a transistor. And this little guy over here, you get down on it. The neon light's working over over here too. And that's in conjunction with that MOSFET thyristor uh, that's uh, actually going feed not. Uh, to my leads that I have connected for my the high voltage leads, which are now feeding into my uh, voltmeter here. So this this, this thing slowed down quite considerably. So I'm getting about I should as soon as I say something it, it starts going upwards. So 230 volts. So it's going to look like pretty darn close to 230 volts. And uh, it, you know it's, it's Sloan, there it is, there's 230 right there. So, I have to get a device that's capable of having a DC in of 230 volts DC and out of, of, of I guess, 14 volts or something that would be able to maybe charge the system a little bit better than what's going on right now. I'm always looking for something better. The charge works on here, but it's very slow. I think it would be more, more apt to work on the, one of these uh, 2.3 amp hour batteries. And I got well, I got seven amp amp hour batteries in, in the circuit, so they're rather large batteries. Maybe the charge feature is better off to work with a smaller battery. I don't know this. I haven't done any experiments that uh, that way, headed that way yet. So I'm pretty much content on uh, what I got right here. I don't think it's going any any up any, any further up you know, to maybe 230, 234 um, volts, somewhere around that range. It looks like it's slowing down considerably now. Very slowly it's going now, but boy it was going moving pretty good. So that's what I got basically. Now I'm gonna shut this uh, power supply off. I'm gonna shut this off now right now. And you watch this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip the switch. I'm not gonna show you the switch. I'm just gonna flip it off. Watch how this voltage will, do, will just come down abruptly. Watch. Okay, uh, basically shut the thing. You can you can see now it's almost going to be nothing in very shortly. As long as that magnet's rocking, it always got a small fraction there. There's zero. Magnet's dead, uh, almost stopped. Okay, now I'm going to do it again. I'm going to flip the switch back again. There's a charge circuit. So I'm going to be working with the same circuit I did. Okay. There's my 12 volts for the run battery spot not. Now I'm going to go ahead and there's, would you believe it? it? Those caps still have that charge in them. They have the 234 volts in them. They still have it. If I run my hand across those caps, I'd have knocked me, knocked me silly. The, the voltage is still in those caps. It's uh, The caps are carrying that voltage and they're 
putting it through this neon light right here, which is regulating that voltage to to the charge battery. I guess I could run this thing up just like I did right now, and by hooking it up to the battery, I guess it would work because I have 232 volts and it's holding still. But I, I'm not messing with that those high voltage leads. I'm not manhandling that by that kind of thing. I, I already seen what happened. That spark will knock you down, buddy. I mean, a big blinding flash, and there's a lot of jewels there, and uh, quite a bit of amperage. And I'm not going to deal with that. So I'm I'm pretty much content with what's going on right now. I, I, there's a backlog of jewels in the caps, which then are being fed out through 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 the, uh, my leads, which are down there, which are disconnected or connected to my voltmeter right now. Now, if I took those leads from my voltmeter off and stuck those leads on the battery, which is right here, then I should be able to charge that battery with the with this with this uh, with nothing moving. That's a new one on me. I didn't realize that, that, that this is the first time I did this kind of a test. So you're, you're with me on something new here. Uh, <laughs> with nothing moving, I should be able to get something out of this uh, and charge my batteries with everything connected like it is right out of the caps and into the battery. I'm not going to mess with that as long as that voltage is like that. I'll tell you that right now. It's a little scary. Well, that's all I got to show, guys. And uh, maybe someone has some comments. Uh, feel free to post them in the, on the forum. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody.